everyone, I am home today and I thought that would be a perfect time since I'm here with my whole earring collection um, to address a question that we get pretty frequently, which is, I really wanna give Patternfly a try and I really wanna try it for earrings. Um, should I choose the Patternfly acrylic or the Patternfly on the MDF? Um, and when, th first off, either one will work. You can use either one and we have customers using MDF and the acrylic, we have customers using both on the same pair of earrings. But when I'm making a decision for myself, whether I'm going to use the acrylic or the MDF, I think of three different considerations, design, weight, and aesthetic. So they're all related, but I'm just gonna sort of go through and I'm gonna show you some example earrings. Uh, the first consideration was design. So for example, these earrings I'm wearing right now, I wanted to have a touch of color in there with an engrave. So I did these, these are the cement on the black core acrylic. You can, if you use MDF, achieve the same look, but you will have to paint your engraves to get the black color. You'll get a darker color when you engrave, but it won't be this vibrant black. Or if you want white, then you'll want the white core acrylic. Again, you can do it on MDF, but you'll have to take that extra step of painting and it's a hassle nobody really wants. This makes it so easy, just engrave it all together. So for design, that's a factor to consider. Do you wanna have an accent in a different color from the core? Uh, another thing with design is the, the sizing. And the, for example, I, if I'm doing something thin like these, circle earrings i usually go with acrylic because it has it's it's more structural it's, it's more sturdy um the mdf will work for that we have plenty of customers making thin circles like that but for me i like to have have them have that durability of the acrylic uh weight is the second consideration so if i am cutting a larger earring without a lot of open work i will use mdf because it's lighter so for a full 19 by 12 sheet, the MDF weighs about 0.875 pounds, whereas this acrylic in the same size sheet is 1.2 pounds. So if you have the same earring cut with MDF and acrylic, the acrylic earring's going to weigh more. Um, so for example, I've got these, these big huggers here that I like to wear. Um, I cut these out of MDF because they are lighter. On the flip side, I have these other earrings that are large, but they have a lot of open work. So I went with the acrylic on those because they're open, they don't weigh as much that way. The third consideration was aesthetic. So you can see here, I have, these are the same earring shape. This is with MDF and this is acrylic. I prefer to wear the MDF ones because they are lighter with that full shape, nothing's cut out of it but I did make the same pair with acrylic because I like this silver ice pattern that we have. I like the way the acrylic sort of makes it look icy, makes it look like jewels. The same is true for the holographic glitter we have. I did that on clear just because I like the way that it makes it look. So I did that on there. Um, you can do either, but if you want something where you can see through it, Remember, that's only achievable with that clear acrylic. We have the same patterns on MDF, but you're not gonna be able to see through them. So those are just things that I consider when I'm making earrings, the design, the weight aesthetic. Again, either will work MDF or acrylic, but think about what you want your final product to look like. Do you wanna have an accent? Do you want it to be a solid piece? If so, choose the MDF because it's lighter. Um, or do you want very thin areas where you might want a little more structural durability that the acrylic can give you? So those are just things to consider. Um, you can't go wrong with either one, but it really just boils down to what you envision for that sheet in the end. So let me know if you have any more questions. Thank you.